my family opened Northern Light Espresso Bar in Scranton in 2002, and we had always wanted to do coffee roasting. The opportunity presented itself about 10 years later, and here we are today. Hi, I'm Luke Damiani, the owner of Damiani Coffee Roasters. During the process of roasting, we're looking and listening very carefully as the beans go from a green to a yellow to a light brown and then a darker brown. We'll be looking through the sight glass and using the trier, the little scoop on the face of the roaster to observe the rate of rise in the heat application. We'll also be listening for an event called first crack, and that is a point where the cell walls of the beans actually burst and moisture escapes from them and they really puff up in size. And that event is a really good indicator of how your roast is going and where you should take it after that. There's a sweetness in all coffees and higher quality coffees have more natural sweetness to them. And so we're trying to roast in a way that brings out that sweetness and also develop the other natural flavors that the coffees have. We also offer wholesale training for trainers and baristas and owners. We can offer training in espresso brewing, filter coffee brewing, cold brew. We can also offer bar flow training, how to be as efficient as possible behind the bar. I really enjoy coffee roasting. It's a challenge every day. Every day is different. The coffee behaves differently due to humidity, temperature. The roaster itself can be tricky sometimes to get that perfect equilibrium of temperatures. But once you get a routine going, if you stick with it, you'll be able to brew a really delicious cup.